All right, so I'm going to do this stream of consciousness that Lex and I talked about in our part one video, Stratside 8, and where he said he did a stream of consciousness, consciousness that showed all the things that he was thinking about day to day, minute to minute, hour to hour, second to second, well, when he played infantry. And that was kind of related to the false equivalency and, and how all the, the nuance of what he takes into account when he plays infantry and just the sheer complexity of it. I'm going to do the same thing for armor play. I've been a main battle tank player since beta 2012. I have a pretty long history of doing that sort of stuff in different games like World of Tanks and being in armor and battlefield games and, and the like. So I've been maining Vanguard for all this time and a little bit of Prowler as well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stream of consciousness, just start thinking out loud all the things that I'm I'm taking into account as I play. I haven't rehearsed this, I haven't practiced, and yeah, we're just going to do it. So before I even get to the continent that's open, I'm already trying to think about what sort of play I want to make today. Do I want to hit from long, uh, long range? Do I want to hit from short range? Hassan's open, so that tells me there's going to be quite a bit of vehicle play going on. And also, I've got to be careful about radar and uh, getting C4 all over the place. So I'm going to spawn in, not here, okay. I'm going to spawn into Hassan as an NG. And because it's Hassan, I will likely run stealth or radar. Those sorts of slots are, are kind of, you know, tomato, tomato in the end, but. Hassan, you generally want to know where the enemy infantry is in relation to you. And then also, oh, there's a nice three-way going on there. Uh, so then also, I'm going to want to... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to want to not get spotted. Because aircraft will be all over me too. A little lone... Bang. I'm not going to join a team or a squad. Looks like there's quite a bit of Sundays going on, so that three-way fight is well underway. Um, okay, so we don't own the base. The closest one is broken, but it's hacked. So now i got to go get it back so that I can spawn in vehicles and start doing the except it's not a main battle tank. So I can't even do it here. So now I need to redeploy and find me the closest main battle tank place. Okay, so for the array I'm seeing here, I'm not really not really seeing a lot of fighting going on from NC. It looks like a lot of it's taking part as uh, infantry, because you can't get your vehicles up in here, even as a vanguard. Um, there's a way to do it. So let's try and get to Hurricane. I can't do that either. So I have to go from the amp station. And before I go anywhere, I want to put down... A mobile armor discount so that with my asp my tank will be 225 nanites um, I have 750 to start so I'm good to go and I'm on Hassan so let's take a look uh, my vehicle engineer <sighs> equipped with my Punisher and my underbarrel so that'll give me like a nice little pop repair if I need it my grenade bandolier with multiple nanite grenades if I if I need that I was running ammo printer. I, I mean, that's pretty much a staple because if if you take a lot of shots, then you'll run out of ammo real fast. Uh, but then also logistics specialist coming in, clutch uh, for people to spawn in as a squad. Since I'm not doing that, I'm not squatting up. I'm going to want to change that to sweeper HUD because of how how bad mines can hide all over the place. So with that fight going on, let's. It's going to take me forever to get there, but that's just kind of the way you have to play it. Um, so I'm going to I'm gonna throw down, I did throw down a marble, mar mobile armor. And let's see, for my Vanguard, I stealth, you because I'm at, I'm there, I'll probably run a prox just to make sure I don't get snuck up on. And then, you know, the shield is a staple, and then racer is pretty much the go-to halberd because there's so many so much armor 
on on um, Hassan is normal a staple, but I've been having a lot of success with Trawler as of late. It's just kind of like a good all-arounder, i found, especially since Hassan has such a high presence of air. You need something to, to kind of bat him away from you when when you're just kind of tooling around. That... That is that can become quite a problem. So then my vehicle, shoot, not to make sure I did it on Indara by accident. So I want my Hassan. There we go. My nice uh, Alpha Legion type skin. Oh, it looks like I already had the trawler. So instead of uh, flanker, which is good, uh, I really like using flanker nowadays. I am gonna use my trawler and prox radar. Yep, good to go. And then take a look at my engineer. Looks cool. Looks cheesy. And then now I'm ready to go. So let's hit it. Okay, so I'm zooming out. Uh, third person is pretty much the the go-to whenever you're moving around. You want to be able to keep your head on a swivel at all times. Kind of get myself in and around so that I can move north to move south. <laughs> kind of go up to go down. A lot of a lot of that stuff going on in armor. You gotta take the long way sometimes. Nah. The good news is that a lot of along the way, a lot of shortcuts you can take. Hassan though you gotta be careful because of how many like these thorns uh, will obstruct your your movement and just random like rocks that will tip you. It it is kind of hard to get tipped in a vanguard, uh, in my opinion. Uh, even when you're running racer, like it's I'll do a little bit of drifting here. Whoop, bam! It's a little bit of Tokyo drift. Uh, pretty useful in in, in dogfights if you can manage it or <laughs> armor battles. But also because it's Hassan, the uh, hello. Okay, so because it's Hassan, it's a little bit close quarters. Uh, that's kind of where the prox comes into play. You can get snuck up on if you don't, if you're not watching the map. So now it looks like they're concentrated, so I bet you the armor battle started in increasing. Which means I'm going to kind of approach in a more deliberate manner instead of just kind of barreling in like I do. So I'm going to take the high road here. Just kind of race my way up to get a good vantage view. See what I can see. Okay, so nothing obvious so far. So at least they're, they're not getting clenched. But there's a lot of red, so... So this kind of tells me, like, this this V formation we got going on here, this this V blob, kind of tells me that VS, having held the point with, like, the little max crash going on, they're dying, probably C4. Um, I bet you TR is probably at that attack marker, but also it looks like they're uh, over here on the west side. I wouldn't be surprised if that was VS, though, just because of the way the spawn works out. Um, it kind of kind of throws you toward that direction. So let's take a look and see if I can get any early hits. A few ticks up. Oh, there's a Sunday right there, baby. And so I missed him one. Got one. Got two. Got three. I'm I'm on side directional now, so I'm doing less, but I can hit him right now because he turned around, and he's dead. But I saw a little skinny get out somewhere, and because I have procs, I should show, but it looks like he died too. So that was an interesting move. How did he even get there? Um, so enemy darts. So it looks like maybe VS is creeping up here on the north, which is cool. Um, that's good. I like facing VS. Uh, prowlers are kind of a, a hard... A hard one to to fight against on open terrain, um, but VS is good to fight against here because they just they can't really run uh, very fast uh, against all of this 
all these rocks and everything, it's hard to maneuver because of the hard... Uh, let's go ahead and take care of that AA gun. So one tick down. There we go. Now I'm, be, I'm, I'm sighted in. So now I just got to play the waiting game to to kill him while I keep an eye on my my map on the bottom left. They're trying to rep. You can see the the rep animation. But they're probably not going to rep faster than I can shoot it, even with my R heat. Which is the only reason why I'm, wearing, why I'm using an R heat is because I have the rewards cannon, which is a little bit different than the normal AP. There really is no reason uh, other than just personal preference to use anything other than AP. AP has a flatter shot and ooh, I could probably get one on you right there. Oh, you mo you moved. So I, I'm going to have to take a few more hits um, to kill this AA because I gave the engineer repairing it more time to heal him up. And you can hear my ammo restock ticking away trying to give me keep up with the amount of bullets uh, smoked ant there tells me that there is quite a bit of engagement going on down and there's the lock-ons so they're coming from the southeast and this AA gun is just not dying so let's go ahead and take a look what's going on okay so TR ant he's gonna want to back up here soon Otherwise, I'm going to eat him for lunch. Yep, you didn't, so you're going to die. Okay, and then there's a little skinny. What he doesn't realize, though, is that I am much bigger than him. So as soon as I clear through... Oop, missed. And because I have heat, fella... Okay, you're dead now. There's a prowler. Cool, cool. And there's C4 on me, so I might die here in a second. There you go. I wasn't paying attention to my minimap, even with procs, and I died. I paid for it. Let's do it again. Uh, I'm over armor discount, so I'm probably back up to 750, yeah, because I didn't die uh, very fast. But that's not always the case. Um, a few days ago when I was playing, I was on Esamir, and I died like every three minutes just because I was soloing, and I kept getting A to G'd, and there were a lot of VS just kind of tooling around and in lightnings. So... And the van and the mag riders were peeking like bosses, so it's kind of hard to play against that by myself. So that was good. Did tell me their kind of their force makeup looks like. Oh, I need to go this way this time. Looks like TR and VS are knee deep, kind of intermingled together. I'm gonna drift again. There you go. So they're kind of intermingled, which is good news for me, because that means that they're going to be fighting each other a whole lot more, and looks like we shifted south. So we probably got wiped. Uh, well, we did, obviously, got wiped by somebody. Maybe a mixture of both. Yep, so here's another... This These long stretches of time where you're just kind of sitting here trying to figure out or get from A to B, just kind of look at the map, see what you can see. It's a nice little armor push down there, so I'll go support them. Player base to their west, or the, to their east. Looks like it's, um, the way they're backing up, that makes me think that there's quite a bit of infantry going on over there. Um, and with that, yeah, so let's let's figure it out. Okay, that looks like a pretty big base. So that's probably what's going on now. Nothing on my... What? Nice little stealth flash. Going on here? So I don't know where he is exactly. That was a good move by him. That was funny. So because I have ammo printer, I can just kind of waste... I can just kind of waste shots. And in armor play, that's not a bad thing. Uh, you're not really concerned so much about headshots, accuracy, or anything like that. So, let's see how many times... Oh, no. And... Okay. 
So there's a lot going on, Cha. Okay, so I got you down. Is that? That's air. Let me just take care of that guy. Okay, so you're dead. Enemies. And an armor vehicle of some kind. Look like a lightning. <laughs> that was unintentional. But not unwelcome. I am getting hit. So I need to I need to retreat. And there's a skinny over there to the right. He's probably gonna try and take out this sky guard. Doesn't probably doesn't realize I have procs. So wait for him to just there you go. What the That's interesting. Normally that would kill him. So it looks like two tank rounds now. And air's on me. So I'm going to try and ramp up here in a second. Pop my shield. And shoot. And there's not going to be much I can do here. Except maybe like heal a little bit. Walk it back. Pop my side. And then... Just kind of wrap up as best I can. Try not to smoke, because the smoking vanguard is a, a big, big target. He's just paint a big old bullseye. I'm just going to sit here for a second. Okay, and I'm back. So... Nice little armor popping up here. The lead belches. Led by Warboss Thraka. So, there. Oh, that's a lib. But he's not shooting at us. So, I'm just going to heal, rep my little guy here. Pop me another grenade so I don't have to heal as much. And then, let's see if I can't hit that bad boy in a second. Side in too far left. Too far up. He's moving to the l left, right. And then, oh, nice little lightning behind me. So I just got to keep watching every few seconds. He doesn't know I'm here, but now he will. And then his friend in the back. Just he's deployed, so he's not going to get away fast enough. And then he's got another buddy over here that I can hit. He's a sky guard, isn't he? Nope, he's not a sky guard, but it's okay. He's still dead. So we just kind of, th we thrashed him there, but that could have gone, that could have gone against us uh, because of the, because of their air support. So these things just kind of happen, good, bad. And as a, oh no, I may have just gotten myself stuck because I wasn't going fast enough and I was talking and not paying attention. That's unfortunate. Okay, so I'm probably going to need to reploy here in a second. Uh, unless I can... No, nope, actually I can get through. So, I'm always trying to get find a nice vantage point. Come on, let me through, let me through, let me through. There we go. I'm always trying to find a nice vantage point. Um, getting where people least expect me. Or, just trying to get the angle. Um, kind of like a World of Tanks style of play, but... You know, it's just not nearly as hardcore. So I'm just going to try and uh, get myself a little bit more angled. So the fight is up there. So I'm just going to have to kind of peek over here a little bit and kind of angle, teeter-totter a little bit. And that was, uh, I don't know what that was, but, oh, okay. Nice little prowler. So he doesn't know I'm here. And I'm missing. He made it behind. Oh, he's peeking. So that means I can get him when he peeks next. Come on, peek again. Do it again. And there's infantry. Spot him for my friend. So I was overshooting. Something fierce. Check my map. Don't want to get C4 again. So I'm not doing a whole lot of good here. But except for when that prowler peeks like that. It's a hammered guy. Okay, so I just smoked him. Now he's afraid to peek because he didn't know what hit him. But his f little infantry buddies aren't. 
So let's clear those mines. Cool. And then Prowler's again showing his butt, though. Didn't get him. So he threw some tank mines down. Let's just kind of clear those out before I try and go down there. All right, and let's go. So you, you, you can see that's kind of how the game works like that. Try not to kill my blueberry friend, but ask him if he wants to get in. And infantry. Lots of infantry. Getting hit by something. Who is shooting me? So I'm just going to kind of get some few hits on these things. The silo. Okay, dude. Rep up now. And then throw down a nice little healer. It's one of the bugs about a vanguard is sometimes you jump out and your, your tank just kind of rolls in a direction. It's really annoying, but it's just kind of how physics works in this game. Sometimes you can work it to your advantage. So this prowler went north, or south. <laughs> south. So I'm going to try and see what I can see. FOV is very important. Oh, I can hear him already. So he's not far away. Okay, so let's take you out. Uh, can I get him? No. Reaver got him first. But I heard. I heard him. Why did it take two hits now? <sighs> Gotta direct hit him. Oh. And you try to see for me, my friend. But I'll kill you by running you over. And you... I see. You're right there. I'll just scare one. Scare you and throw one over your face. That was my own friend. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I hit somebody and you are going to die. Okay? So he was a BR-11... Oh, oh my. I might actually lose this fight. Yeah. Yep. I popped my shield. And then I paid for it. So we did get Nasons. That's good. So now I can pull from Nasons. We got mobile armor discount, so I need to worry about that. And let's go ahead. It's okay. Okay. So I need to hack it. Can someone please hack this thing? So now I got to do it. Which is cool. You know, I'll hump it over here to, really, all right. So that's, you know, kind of an, an iterative process of how this thing goes. I think after, how many minutes, 20 minutes, you kind of get the idea. It's It's a lot of repeat, a lot of rinse and repeat. So I think we'll just make it to 30 minutes and then call it a day, see what, I, what fights I can get up north, I suppose. Let's go to the attack marker. So that lightning, he, he played a good one. He, I don't know if he saw me pop my shield or if he just had no idea, but he came in guns blazing, uh, but I smoked him, or I got him smoking before he was able to, to kill me. Yeah, and that's cool. If I had a gunner, that would have probably turned out different, but just barely. I was already kind of damaged. I should have hopped out and repped uh, before he he came at me. So now I'm going to try and get up, get a little bit of angle, because there is already a turret right there. So I'm going to help out the team, try and kill this turret. There we go. And then let's see if I can catch any infantry. There's one. Okay, he's down. And what sort of modules can I kill? There's a rep module, but what I'm really looking for is... Okay, so probably want to help the infantry out now. Oh, is that a vehicle? Yeah, I guess so. The ant. Now, what I was really looking for is the... Yeah, it's gone now. Uh, sky shield... 
pain spire and it's not a big deal anymore uh, but the the targeter module yeah you kill that then you disable the turrets unless they're trying to do it by themselves so it's kind of clean up a little bit and this, this fight's pretty much done with but I'm still gonna try and get a vantage point anyways And so I'm just kind of using physics. There it is. That's that's probably what I was looking for the whole time, the little module. So I was in, I'm just using physics to my advantage there. Just kind of wheeling around and getting up to places. I'm not too worried about my, my exposure. Because it doesn't look like there's much going on here. And there's the alert. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this now. Um, once Gurney Dam is capped. And I'm going to, uh, there we go, cool. Oof, a little bit too much, but, you know, there's nobody on me, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Sometimes the foliage just kind of obscures pathing. So, are you trying to get in? No, you're not. I'm usually looking for gunners, but right now I'm kind of talking and doing stuff at the same time. I'm almost always hitting Q. Um, I, pr I didn't talk about that much, but I'm, I'm hi always hitting Q uh, to see if I can spot just mines um, and, and not die from them. <laughs> but looks like there's not a lot going on here. Uh, they're just spawn camping, so I'll just wait the 20 seconds. Um, this is kind of what armor is. I mean, it's not like... Th there's long stretches of you getting to where you need to go. You kind of getting the good vantage point that you can for the 20 seconds or 10 seconds left, getting a shot off or scaring someone by shooting um, their their spawn. And before, you're not trying to kill them unless they pop their head out, but if they're staring at you, you're staring at them. I have ammo printer, so ammo doesn't mean anything to me. So I'll just keep shooting at the, at the shield uh, to kind of dissuade them from thinking about anything so he wants to come in I'm just gonna give him the tank uh, because I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stop whoops that was a bad move yeah I know I know pop in yeah so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go to X tab and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off here because a lot of this is repetitive and there aren't really huge armor engagements going on right now so the sort of things that would pop in my mind for that aren't there there was some armor play earlier, so you kind of got an idea of the sort of stuff that gets thought about. Yeah, and that's it. Armor play. There is a lot that goes into it. Um, maybe not as much as infantry, doesn't sound like. But if I really wanted to, it's just a lot of kind of repeat motions and iterative actions that you need to keep in mind. All right, cool. See you.